Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is part two on a really interesting article that was actually published in the best writing on mathematics 2015. The article is actually called Demystifying the Math Myth, uh, Analyzing the Contributing Factors to the Achievement Gap Between Chinese and US Students. So in this part, I'm going to be talking about the difference between timetables and schedules between Chinese math teachers and US math teachers. So it was very interesting to see that Chinese teachers actually have one prep class per year. So that means that they teach this one class, they prepare for this one class for the entire year, and that's their entire focus. Now we know that in the US it's very different. Often US teachers will have three to four class preps, which means that they will have three classes or four classes to be able to plan for for the rest of the year. Now in some of the schools that I've worked in in the past, I've had up to seven preps. So so you can imagine the time that we have to invest into preparation and collaboration when you have seven preps. If we had one prep, if everybody I think had one prep, then imagine all of the time that you could actually spend having rich discussions with your colleagues, sharing resources, and really being able to even observe each other and co-teach in some situations. So that's one of the big difference in terms of timetabling. Also in terms of teaching time, Chinese teachers typically teach around two to three hours per day, that one class. Now, US teachers we know teach between four and five hours per day. Normally, US teachers are given just one class prep time, which means in that one 40 minute or 60 minute time frame, they actually have to plan all of their preps for their three to four classes per day. Now, Chinese math teachers, they teach probably 10 to 12 hours over a week, and this gives them a lot of time to be able to collaborate, to look at homework, to look at students' work, to be able to share resources, and to have regular meetings where teams can actually get together and discuss the best teaching strategies forward. Now, in terms of resources, Chinese teachers are given a lot of resources to actually support their teaching for that year group. So in the teacher's manual, there are actually very detailed lesson plans that are carefully thought out and that look at all sorts of different types of teaching strategies, such as including manipulatives. So while this article is very interesting, I'm not necessarily saying that one is better than the other, but I think it's really important that we actually look at the different systems between China and between the US, and we try to actually adopt the best practices from both both different systems, adapting it to our own context. Now, PD is actually another area that is very different in both countries. So in China, there actually is a research education center that exists at the district level, the city level, the province level, and the national level level. And this research center is actually in charge of releasing sample lesson plans every month that are based on the latest research. Part three will be more about the pedagogical strategies and the differences between those strategies in China and in the US. So thank you so much for watching.